All right, then today I just want to show off something I made. So the project that I made today was something I called Rustware. So what do I mean by Rustware? So I guess before this video starts overall, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that the content provided in these tutorials is intended for educational purposes only. And yeah, so let's get started. So what's Rustware or what's ransomware? So ransomware is a type of malware used to disable critical systems and access to data until a ransomware is paid. So what does that mean, malware? What does malware mean? So what's malware? So malware is basically software that is designed to attack, control, or damage a device security and infrastructure system. There are many different types of malwares. In our case, I made ransomware, hence the name Rustware. And I'll explain the name Rust later on. And there's multiple types. There's adware, trojan, spyware, viruses, worms, rootkits, botnets, wiper malware, mobile malware, fileless malware. And I won't be going over all of this. I'll just be going over what ransomware is. So, like I said before, Rustware. So, Rustware. Where for ransomware and then Rust for Rustware. So, I built this malware using Rust. Reason being is because a lot of these new or these malware or these hacking groups are building malware in rust and i just want to see how it was like if i could build malware in rust and don't get me wrong i'm not like the best coder or not the best hacker for the most part i decided to build this just for fun and it's just i would say simple malware i, I would even call it like malware for the most part i probably call it like an encryption and decryption game but it it provides the basis of malware for the most part but even though it's probably like really bad made, but it's still something, I guess, it's a little bit something to be proud of, even though it's not the greatest thing. So what inspired me? So what inspired me for the most part was this ransomware called ransomware. In this example, we have like an anime girl showing right here of a famous video game. And it says right here, your systems have been encrypted. And this ransomware was a bit different from the rest of the ransomware because when it comes to ransomware, they usually ask you for payment. They ask you for something. And then even, even if you do pay for your files to get decrypted, sometimes the, the ransomware group won't even decrypt the files for you. They'll just they'll just take your money and not leave. It's, it's really up to them if they want to de if they want to decrypt your files or not. But for the most part, they do do it for you just because they want to like in case they ever hit another hit another um business they want to make sure that they have the credibility that if you do pay them they would you will get your files back and like yeah so with this ransomware like i told you it's a bit different they don't ask you for payment they basically just ask you to play this game and this game i think it's called toehold 12 and this game is like like a very hard game for the most part and i guess i have a video of the game right here link down below so let me see if i exit out right here and just copy this so i think i have it muted so it should i shouldn't get copyright strike or who knows so if you look closely right here look at this you have to get a score of close to i forgot what is it i think two billion or something like that around that factor to be able to for the most part pass this game and top score yeah yeah so this was this is what inspired me to I guess make my malware for the most part and like let's check it we check it right here so we, right here we have the files in our system already placed I have my files in my desktop and I have my files in my download so now I'll just click on the ransomware that I clicked that I made so if I click on this and I just close this because it's probably taking up space that I don't I don't need so right now it's starting this is not elevated yet now it's asking for the user to accept user access controls for the most part and which is I'm about to do right now and uh, I'm just gonna wait for it and like I was saying before this is gonna take a while because my system is not probably like the best when it comes down to it and I'll click yes and then it's just then it's gonna load up the game and while that's on I guess I'll just load up my Kali system while like you see the game's getting loaded up and you see the simple snake, snake game. So I built this using GG Easy, which is just a, a, a simple way to make 2D games using Rust. And look, right now I have it at two. I'll just probably let's see if I can kill myself right now. Oops. It's so hard to kill yourself in snake when you're like such a small little snake. Hopefully at three, I'm able to kill myself. 
and I did. So I got a score of a thousand. We get a score of a hundred thousand, but I only got a score of three. So what happens next? So if I click OK, let's see what happens. So if you see right here, all my files got encrypted, and as well as right here, it all got encrypted and got left with a dot rustware at the end. So right now it's kind of lagging for a bit, but I'll just close this. I'll just force force close it. And now my files are decrypted. So in my case, I guess I'll show you the code, which is built using Rust. So if I go to CD, home, do not uh, Rustware, CD, source, ls, cap, popup, dot rs, basic, or I'll just even make it even nicer. I'll just even put this up here, back, cat pop-up rs we see this, these are the folders that i hit contact desktop documents downloads favorite music onedrive and then this is where i make a i add a registry so by adding a registry on this registry uh key by adding a registry key so every time the person tries restarting or rebooting his computer the malware is going to run again so if we go check right around keys already here, this checking for elevation, this just checking the if it has user access control. If it doesn't, it's gonna ask for it. And then we, and this is where it gets the username, so it'll be it'll know what files to hit. Cause when in Windows it'll be like C along with the username and along the path folder. So anyway, uh, uh, in my game I have it like. I changed it from five from a hundred, I think a hundred thousand and I changed it back to five so it could make it easier for me to decrypt. So a score of five or more is able to decrypt the files for me. So if I go back to my game right here and then click on this again, it's going to ask me again. So I'll just wait. Sorry, my bad. My dog is barking for the most part. So I'll just wait for this to restart. And I'll click yes. And then for the most part, what I'm going to do is wait for this game to load up. So when this game loads up, it's going to start. So right now, I'm just going to be try collecting as many of these uh, foods as I can. So as I'm collecting this, I should get, I think, around three or five. So I'm just waiting, collecting. I think this, I reached four. I think this is five. I'll get have one more. I'm not even counting because I'm just distracted by my dog. Grab, grab it. Now I'm just gonna kill myself and then, or like end myself in the game. And then I got a score of eight. So now if I click this, it should decrypt all my files. And as you see right now, hopefully the, game, the thing doesn't crash. Decrypted all my files from my desktop and then it should be decrypting this. And now it's decrypting all the files inside my uh, downloads folder. So right now, it decrypted all these files for the most part. So now that these files are decrypted, I'm able to access them. So I think I'll just click on this one for the most part. Hopefully, hopefully it works and then I won't look like an idiot. So let's see. Uh, Like I said before, I did this on a VM, so I don't mess it up. So I don't mess up my own machine. So that's why this is on the VM. And this is why I'll just, I'll just close this. Because this might be taking up a lot of sources or something like that. And process. And then while that's loading up, I'll just go on regedit edit. And then uh, I guess show you guys where the persistency lies. Reg. Oh. Yeah, like I said before, this is a pretty slow VM. I have not the best equipment, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer. Cause it's gonna take a while, and this is taking a while too to load. I guess opening something on the, on this is gonna take a while. So I guess what I'll do is just show you on my, On my YouTube, I guess, for the most part. So I'll just wait for this to load up. Oh, oh as you see right here, it loaded up. It's still taking a while to load up. Oh, if we go right here.
wait for that to load up hopefully it does but anyway uh, i guess i want to show you guys where i have it for the most part uh saved so in my case i think i have it saved in my software oh h key local machine software microsoft windows current version so we'll just check that right now i don't think this is gonna load so i'm just gonna close this and reg edit but anyway like i said before this is not really like the best malware reason being is because i'm not using hybrid encryption i'm only using one type of encryption so with hybrid encryption, it makes it a lot harder for a, a reverse engineer or malware analyst to be able to look at, to be able to look at the malware and inspect it. But in my case, I'm using a basic one side of encryption, and this one's basically using, uh, I think if I remember correctly, AES. I, and then right see right here, you see right here, I have my keys hard coded. So that means a malware analyst is able to reverse engineer it for the most part. And able to extract these keys and then use them for later on for other purposes so while this is loading up we'll see oh i can just open this right now so open hopefully i can show you guys before this video make becomes kind of too long and i'll just close this and it's going to ask me to use reg edit like a lot of applications ask for user access control so you can use them yes oh my god <laughs> Sorry guys for is the thing. So H key local machine. And then I think it was software. And then if we check back to my code again, for the most part, uh, we go up right here. Uh, software Microsoft Windows. Software Microsoft Windows current version I think I remember correctly it was run so every time a QR and then we see Danny's ransomware right here installed so that means like every time it runs for the most part it's gonna restart it and I'm not gonna restart it right now but I guess to show you guys proof I can show you the video right here that I made so if I go check this right here and then click on uh, this part right here we see that this is not elevated yet right here i restarted my system and then after that if you go look up on the head for the most part this, i'm just speed speed running this i haven't clicked on the file yet but the next way it's, it just responds by itself and at that point right here i just in this part of the video i just technically show how uh, i i decrypt the files for the most part but yeah so that was about it for this video. I just want to show you guys how like it easy is to make I guess some malware, even though it's not the best malware in the world, it's still something. And yeah, just this was just for a fun project for the most part. For a small for a fun class project. And this is the cat file I used. And like I said before, I built this using GG Easy, which is a cool GG Easy Rustware. So it's a it's a basically a, a Rust library to create good games so the example that i used was basically the snake game and i just had to modify it just a t bit to be able to get a better uh, functionality of the code but anyway that was about it for this video hopefully you guys enjoy it and yeah and yeah hopefully you guys just like this video hopefully you guys it inspires you guys to i guess make fun malware and not something to like i guess do for the most part but just to like uh just for practice or just for learning purposes to be able to reverse it and i guess understand it for the most part anyway that was about it for me and hopefully i see you guys in the next video anyway peace